Good afternoon, this is Zach Taylor with the National Weather Service in La Crosse for your winter weather briefing for today, February 18th, 2014, for the possible winter storm this Thursday. Here are the key points for this winter storm. We expect snow to move in during the day on Thursday and continue Thursday night with the worst of the conditions Thursday afternoon into the evening hours as the snow and winds increase. 5 to 10 inches of snow is possible with the highest amounts north of Interstate 90 into north central Wisconsin. At the onset there could be a wintry mix but then precipitation should become all snow by afternoon and the snow could be heavy at times with snow rates of 1 to 2 inches per hour in the afternoon and evening. This could result in very difficult to near impassable conditions especially during the afternoon and evening commute and across the open areas of southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa there could be whiteout conditions to a blizzard. So here's a timeline of what we expect to happen for this winter storm. Thursday morning, snow will begin to spread from south to north. Could be a bit of a wintry mix initially. Then the heaviest snow will begin in the late morning into the afternoon and evening hours with one to two inches per hour possible. The core of the strongest winds will arrive a little bit later in the afternoon and evening, and that could be 35 to 45 miles an hour and the combination of the heavy snow rates and the strongest winds could result in a blizzard across southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. Road conditions will rapidly deteriorate in the afternoon and evening. Some of them may become impassable with whiteouts possible across Minnesota and Iowa, especially as the strongest winds develop. By late evening into Thursday night, the snow will begin to taper off as the system moves away. However, the strong winds will continue and that will lead to significant blowing and drifting snow, especially across the open areas. Here's the latest snowfall forecast for the area. Anywhere between 7 to 10 inches is forecast from northeast Iowa to southeast Minnesota and to western and north central Wisconsin with the highest amounts north of Interstate 94. Across far southwest Wisconsin and to southern Wisconsin, the precipitation may be mainly a wintry mix or rain and then changing over to light snow towards the end. The current hazards with a blizzard watch to the west across southern Minnesota and northern Iowa while a winter storm watch is posted for areas along the Mississippi River into western Wisconsin. Here's the forecast map for 6 a.m. Thursday. Precipitation should be mainly across Iowa and far southern Wisconsin initially as a wintry mix. By noon the precipitation should be all snow with the heavier snow moving into the area. During the afternoon and evening hours we expect the heaviest snow to be across the area and the strong winds developing with 35 to 45 mile per hour gusts possible. This could result in significant blowing and drifting snow. By 12 a.m. Friday, the snow will begin to taper off and move to the northeast. However, the strong winds will remain in place, and that will keep the blowing and drifting snow across the open areas impacting road conditions. So here's another look at the forecast snow totals. Six inches or greater is forecast from southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa, into much of western and northern Wisconsin, with 10 inches or more possible north of Interstate 94 into northern Wisconsin. Keep in mind that any shift in the storm track could greatly impact the heaviest snow band axis. The main impacts, we expect heavy snow to fall along the Mississippi River in Minnesota and Wisconsin into north central Wisconsin, mainly during the afternoon and evening hours on Thursday. However, there is still some uncertainty in the storm track which could greatly impact the axis of heavy snow. It could begin as a wintry mix, especially across northeast Iowa and southwest Wisconsin. And so there will be travel and roadway impacts. Some roads could be covered with patchy ice Thursday morning, but then by afternoon there could be some rapidly deteriorating conditions. Northwest to west winds gust the 35 to 45 miles per hour possible, and that would result in significant blowing and drifting snow, especially in the afternoon and night. 
keep updated on this possible winter storm, please check out our social media pages.